Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today this is a part 2 video of VCPA Data Center Virtualization 2023 and first video was an introduction where we have gone through all the all the documentation part of Data Center Virtualization 2023. I have, I have taken you through the modules basically what are the modules we are going to cover in this training. So uh, <coughs> let's get it started and this is going to be a straightforward VMware vSphere ESXi 8 installation step by step. So <coughs> as you all know si uh, like uh, to do all the all the testing and all the features like D DRS H and everything we require multiple ESXi hosts. So in this uh, training I am going to use 3 or 4 ESXi hosts based on the requirement. So in this video I am going to install one ESXi uh, particularly so you can you can replicate the same in uh, you can install or deploy basic mul basically multiple ESXi hosts uh, whatever you need whatever count you need so <coughs> what we are going to do so basically uh, before going to directly to the installation what is hypervisor so uh, we all know ESXi is a hypervisor from VM VMware which is known uh, known to deploy a production or anything so Basically, there are two types of hypervisors. So, uh, basically, a hypervisor is a computer software that allow you to uh, service uh, to create a run virtual machine in a simple word. So, a hypervisor also allow you to create a virtual virtualization layer to separate, or you can say the separate the compute, which is going to be your CPU, processor, RAM, and other resources of physical machine like uh, disk and everything. So, uh, before so this is one of the basic need if you wanted to learn the hypervisor thing or you want to do any virtualization training you must need to understand what is hypervisor and what are the type of hypervisor so type 1 hypervisor you can clearly see bare metal type white uh, type 1 is directly going to be installed on your bare machine like uh, you have a dell server you have a hp server and directly you are installing the hypervisor uh, so uh, uh, mostly in production environment or uh, enterprise or any organization you will see type 1 hypervisor which is directly going to be installed on your bare metal physical servers which uh, if you talk about um, uh, type 1 bare metal um, basically hypervisor you can consider vmware esxi host vmware uh, mm, sorry uh, citrix zen server or microsoft hyper v and type 2 is going to be hosted it means you have a hardware you are running operating system on it and then you can create a you can install a hypervisor and you can run a virtual machine same thing so in my lab i am using type 2 hypervisor which is a vmware position here you can see so i have a windows 11 machine on top of that i have installed this vmware workstation and then i am creating a virtual machine on this so this is a type of, uh, type 2 hypervisor so this is good now in this lab basically we are going to have a multiple ESXi host but I am going to install one ESXi host you can follow the same steps to deploy a second ESXi host. So this is my domain controller so just to give you an idea this is my primary machine you can see domain control this having active directory and DNS installed so you can see the domain name is leftsands.lan and this is running on windows server 2022 and if I show you uh, Okay, if I show you this having uh, Active Directory and DNS running on it, so this is good. So this is my domain controller, and if you want to see the name of domain controller, it's a lab and so on dot lan. So this is my DC, and now what we are going to do, we are going to deploy these two machines. So I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to deploy this ESXi zero one. So how to how to do it? So I'm going on file and then new virtual machine and then going to be a typical just recommended click next next and then I'll select the operating system so ESXi 7 or later click next and I'm going to type my name of ESXi so ESXi01 and then enter and then how much disk I need so I let's say 200 gig of disk I need next and finish so now this is done now we need to customize the configuration so i'm going to set 32 gig processor i'm going to give 4 gig 
and you can see uh, virtualization engine is here selected uh, Intel VT and all so this is uh, if you have wanted to run a nested virtualization infrastructure you need to select this and then on ISO I am going to select my ISO file so it's under here ISO repository VMware and then vSphere A and this is my uh, VMWiser installer so I'm going to open it and then I'm going to pick the LAN USB I'm going to remove click OK now this is good now I can go ahead and boot the machine so you can see it's booting with the um, ISO image of the ESXi host so one more thing you need to create a DNS record for all your ESXi host or vCenter and everything so in this video what I'm going to do I'm going to create record for ESXi host so it's going to be ESXi hyphen 01 and then I'm going to put my IP which is mentioned here so triple one so one nine two one six eight zero dot triple one so add host and similar thing I need to add for other host so I'm going to use add all the host till the time it's booting so 112 so I'll copy this so ESXi03 and then 13 and I'll add 4 IPs basically so one I'm going to use as, as a standalone and one I'm going to use as uh, three I'm going to use as a cluster and infrastructure so four and paste it here so I have added now sorry so I need to add ESXi 04 IP and then click add host add host now all the four IPs are added so this is good so we got four ESXi host DNS created DNS record created so now if you see this is booting still booting so the ESXi installation is very simple if you are doing on a physical machine what you have to do if you are using ID rack or ILO just take the console to, through ID rack or ILO amount the ISO file from your machine and boot the machine and once the machine is physical server is booted you can go ahead and follow the same procedure to get the uh, ESXi installed so the installation process is same the only thing how you will get the console if this is a VM I'm getting through my VMware ES, uh, workstation console if it's a physical machine you need to log into ID rack or ILO and then you can connect with the physical uh, console of the machine and then you can proceed with the installation so now it's asking to hit enter to continue press F11 to accept and continue so follow the steps whatever is giving on the screen to get the installation done so now it's giving 20 uh, 200 gig uh, drive so just hit enter and then it will ask for password so type your secret password here and hit enter now it's asking press f11 to start uh, install so i'm going to press f11 so now you can see the installation is started it's not gonna take much time i think overall uh, esx installation is not going to take more than 10 minutes only so now hit enter and it will reboot the ESXi host so this is very straightforward installation so now you need to do the post kind of post installation configuration for the ESXi host so now it's you can see it's loading the VMware ESXi so this is good the same installation is completed now it will take boot is also very fast so it's not going to take long time i think once the, your machine is booted uh, if you are using a physical server it will take might be five to ten minutes to boot completely and then os and os loading is going to take less than a two minute i guess so now what we need to do we need to put, uh, do the configuration part for the esxi so I'll do that also once we get the login screen. So 
so now you can see this has taken IP from DHCP so I'm going to do the some basic configuration so I'm going to log in with my password first so now press uh, if you press F2 it will take you here and then configure management network so what I'm going to do I'm going to change the IP first so on the IP I need to set it manually and then I need to remove this and triple one and then leave this default IPv6 I'm going to disable and DNS suffix I'm going to use my DNS server here which is um, if you see here this is my DNS server so IP is 101 so I'm going to use 101 here uh, my active directory DNS server 192 and this is alternative DNS my router and here I'm going to use ESXi-01 dot labs on dot lan and on the custom suffix also you can put the, your domain name so labs and so on dot lan this is good now since you have made all the hostname changes and management mm -hmm. network changes it require a reboot so hit enter so now it will reboot your machine so now if I open this and I show you ping esxi Zero one dot. Uh, uh, this only you will see the play, reply is started coming. So this is good. I think we made some mistake here. It should be triple one. So I'm going to update this also. Apply and now. Okay, we need to flush the DNS. So let's wait for ESXi to boot. So wait for some time. So now, if I go here and just see clipping now, ping one ninety two one sixty eight zero dot one you can see I'm getting apply so this is good now I think I need to flush my DNS IP config IP config That's good because it's taking old IP so done now if I try to ping this now you will see it's pinging from triple L so this is good now the last thing which I want to show you guys in this video just try to access this on browser with the name maybe esxi01 dot labs and and so on dot lan okay this is not going there so <coughs> https slash 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 esxi01 dot you will see it's going there just click on advanced app proceed and now you can see vmware host uh, esxi host client and you will see this is the new logo for vmware esxi host 8 onwards so i'm going to log in here now just put your password and uh, you got the login successful now we will see all the information here like ESXi host and version and all other details. So now you, you will see this uh, from ESXi host 7 and older version this ES, this uh, host client is very much improved and you will see this is also the response and everything very good. So this is created on HTML5 but the overall response for this new <coughs> ESXi host client is very good. Uh, the most of the thing is this uh, you will say the options and all the uh, all the configuration parts and everything will remain same the gui part is mostly improved and now if i go here you will see the settings like what all settings you can do and all okay under help if you go here uh, 
you will see the about under the about you can change the theme also if you want just say let's dark theme if you want or if you want a classic or light anything you want so you can change from here if you want to customize it you can customize it also and also what else we have here uh, like you can see the uh, client version of uh, VMware host client version and build number another detail CXXI version you can see ASXI build version you can see all those information and now you can check the update also if you want to have a uh, update installed then you can specify that also so we will take you to each thing so this is one important thing if you want to you know uh, get the uh, remote console downloaded you can go here and download your remote console also if you want to connect with virtual machine this is again going to be a free so if you click here it will go ahead and allow you to install the basically uh, the what you call remote console the only thing you need to log in with your account and you can go ahead and download it so this is all about uh, you know doing the installation for ESXi host and going through with the console and all so in next video as I'm going to give you a few more options where we can go ahead and create the ESXi mode deploy ESXi host or deploy uh, we sent a server and all so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post them on my give my thank you once again bye bye